The popular Netflix docuseries Cheer was back with its second season recently, and as much as the fans were excited about the hit series' return, it came bearing some disappointing moments. One of them was the absence of season one star Lexi Brumbach. So why did Lexi leave the show so suddenly, and will she be back? Keep watching this video to discover all that and more. So why did Lexi Brumbach leave Cheer so abruptly? Lexi Brumbach of Texas was a prominent part of the Navarro Cheer team throughout Cheer's first season. Back in the first season, Brumbach was caught drinking and was forced to leave Daytona. And while she was back in the second season for a bit, she soon decided to leave the show and didn't go through with the whole thing. Coach Monica Aldama really didn't offer a reason for Brumbatch's departure, just that she wasn't there. But recently, Brumbatch herself has come out about her exit from the show. In exchange with My San Antonio, Brumbatch said, It was really hard to juggle it all when COVID hit. I started falling behind in my classes and then I wasn't eligible to compete at Daytona anymore. It's true that when the coronavirus pandemic hit, it made things difficult for everyone, especially adapting to the new way of life. The second season of Cheer quickly went from preparing for Daytona to leaving friends and hard work behind. And Brumbatch leaving the show kind of makes sense if you think about all that. And even though Brumbatch is once again eligible to join the Navarro Cheer team, she's chosen not to. She says that she has different aspirations and plans to do other things other than cheerleading in the future. She said, I really want to put all of my focus into my dreams. I love Cheer, but that's not the career path that I want to take with my life. Whenever I'm at Navarro, every single day is dedicated to cheer. It's hard to put your focus into anything else. I will go back to visit my Navarro babies and cheer them on because Navarro will definitely always be a part of who I am. Brumbadge plans to pursue art, which she's even more passionate about than cheerleading. She hopes to join a good art school in the near future. And while her time on cheer has come to an end, the memories from the show and the friends she made there will always remain close to her. The cheer cast will be doing what this summer? After tumbling to stardom in cheer season two, the docuseries beloved cast will return to Austin this summer as part of Cheer's live tour for 2022. Squad members and cheerleaders from both Trinity Community College and Navarro High will be giving a performance at the Moody Center in Austin, Texas at 7.30 p.m. local time on the 12th of June in an announcement made by Live Nation Entertainment. Tickets to the event will be resold and will go live soon. Now let's talk about the issues Cheer team faced during the filming of season two. When Cheer's first season came out in 2020, it was instantly swooped success. Within in weeks of the release, the cast was met with high levels of fame, appearing on both Saturday Night Live and The Ellen Show. The team also interviewed Brad Pitt on the Oscars red carpet. The first season told an accurate story about the hardships faced by cheerleaders and just the challenges in the world of cheerleading, a sport that isn't taken as seriously as some of its fellow sports. The show was perhaps also liked this much because of how accurately it depicted the real lives of its cast members who dealt with all kinds of issues, included but not limited to sexual abuse, parental neglect, and poverty. But the hardships of the first season couldn't even be compared to those in the second season. The nine episodes that premiered recently on Netflix attempt to film the turbulent two years that were a result of the coronavirus pandemic, deal with sexual abuse allegations on a beloved ex-cast member, and also find its way through the pressures of new fame. Director Greg Whiteley has said about the second season, there are some pretty complicated issues that we raised in season one, but not quite like what we had to tackle in season two. Shooting for the second season had already begun when COVID wasn't as a serious thing as it is now. However, the pandemic came rushing in in early 2020 and production was inevitably delayed. During this time, some of the cast members naturally had to move on from high school and apply to college, which they did. But that meant that they also had to leave behind their high school cheerleading teams. And this was made a part of the show. From the fourth episode onward, the show had to make a time jump and immediately skip to the part where the cheer squads were preparing for Daytona. A whole new squad was introduced and Navarro was no longer the only squad fans wanted to cheer for. The whole rearrangement took away a lot from the show's charm. And to make things worse, in September of 2020, one of the members of the Navarro cheer squad and one of the most prominent figures on the show, Jerry Harris, was arrested. He was taken in on charges of child pornography possession and distribution, and also sexual abuse. The ordeal sent the entire cheer team into a shock. Just a while back, Harris was taking part in all the interviews along with his team, and was also an incredibly bubbly personality. So the second season of the show also had to address this major setback among all the other problems it had to face. How did Cheer deal with these issues? We've already mentioned how the Cheer producers attempted to deal with the COVID-related production delays. It decided to make a time jump and depict events from a year later when all the issues within the show had already been dealt with, and the Navarro Cheer squad, as well as another squad, were all set to appear in Daytona. When it comes to the absence of its member, Jerry Harris, the show dedicated an entire episode to the abuse allegations on the former cast member. They decided to address the issue head-on, and the episode 
devoted to Harris's case explored the impact of the allegations on Harris's teammates and those who made those allegations. Two twin boys who remained anonymous were interviewed, and they were asked about the treatment they underwent at the hands of Harris. They revealed that they interacted with the ex-cast member at the age of 13 and were subsequently traumatized. The gut-wrenching episode was praised as one of the standouts from the otherwise wobbly season. The director spoke about the allegations, saying he didn't plan to abandon the show following the arrest. He also said that he's confident about Harris's depiction in the first season, emphasizing on the fact that some of the most twisted individuals could be well among us and who might pass as normal and even as good human beings. Whiteley said, Human beings are complicated people. As a filmmake team, we're as good as anyone at creating a portrait and filming somebody authentically. But in the three months that we were allowed to film someone, we're not going to get to the bottom of someone. In other news, what are the real ages of the Navarro Cheer Squad? The original Navarro Squad was well within Cheer's new season. However, some new additions were also made. The names of the new members include Cassidy Dunlap, Maddie Brum, and Jillian Rupert. In addition to them, a new rival squad to the Navarro Squad was also introduced, called the Trinity Valley Community Squad. But how old are these squad members? Let's have a look. The coach who leads the legendary Navarro Cheer team is Monica Aldama, and she is 49 years old as per the latest data. Within her squad, Gabby Butler is 24 and Morgan Siminer is also 24. Younger than those two is Ladarius Marshall, who's 23, Lexi Brumbach, Mackenzie Sherburn, and former squad member Jerry Harris are all 22 years old. Squad members Cassidy Dunlap and Jillian Rupert follow at 20 years old, and Maddie Brum is the youngest at 19. Will there be a third season of Cheer? Although Netflix hasn't confirmed whether there'll be a third season of Cheer, considering that the second season was dropped out of the blue, the same could be the case with the third one. It's possible that the third season is already in the making and will be dropped this year or the next one. However, since the network hasn't revealed anything in this regard, it can never be said for certain whether there will be a third season of the hit docuseries Cheer. Fans are waiting eagerly for further development on where the series left off this time around. They're all hoping that an announcement will be made soon, confirming that there's indeed season three of Cheer. Let's see what happens now. That was it for today's video. What are your thoughts on the latest season of Cheer? How did you like it compared to the first season? Let us know in the comments below. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel where we post similar videos frequently. We'll see you in the next one.